such as grain dust, heated grain gas, manure gas, pesticide treatments, or limited oxygen, can add risk and difficulty to otherwise simple tasks. Running engines and furnaces produce carbon monoxide and can further reduce the available oxygen in confined spaces. Always shut down equipment, ventilate spaces, and wear a mask before you begin confined space tasks. Workers should be especially careful around manure, which can give off H2S, hydrogen sulfide, a toxic gas. H2S levels are typically higher near manure storage areas, silage pits, septic tanks, and sump pits, especially after agitation. You can sometimes detect H2S exposure because it gives off a rotten egg smell in low concentrations. At higher concentrations, however, the smell disappears and it's harder to detect. It's at these higher concentrations that the effects could be severe, even fatal. Remember, H2S is heavier than air and lingers closer to the ground. That means it's particularly hazardous for children and when working in enclosed spaces. Early symptoms include the sudden onset of nausea, headache, dizziness, and fatigue. It can knock you unconscious, or worse, in seconds. If you suspect somebody was knocked unconscious from H2S, do not enter the space to rescue them, as you could be knocked out too. Only trained professionals with specific equipment can enter these areas. Unfortunately, these deaths from H2S exposure often result from people trying to rescue a co-worker. It's important to know even if you can't see or smell it, it can still affect you. So if you're suddenly feeling these symptoms in a confined space, get out as soon as possible and find fresh air. If you suspect you have been exposed to a gas, such as H2S or carbon monoxide, always seek medical attention. Thank you.